Hello, hello, hello. Hola, hola, hola. I'm Natalia. And today I invite you to explore, to reflect, and to think about what self-esteem means to you. Yes. So for this short practice, this short reflection time, I invite you to have a pen and a sheet of paper. Paper, please. Not your cell phone, not the tablet, paper. Yes, and I'm going to be explaining later why paper. Yes, yes, yes. So when we think about self-esteem, many definitions, many things, uh, different situations come to our mind. So I invite you to think, what is self-esteem to you? Sometimes we start comparing ourselves, we start with this imposter syndrome, thinking that we are failing or that we are stuck in life, in situations, in our career, in our studies. You can bring it into any, any setting. And we start getting like these uh, voices, these voices saying that we are not enough, that we are uh, um, not completing the same standards that we are putting for ourselves, but we can't let those feelings, those thoughts um, prevent us from living our best life. Yes, yes, yes. Because super important, feelings, thoughts are not facts. And this is super important because even the most confident people have moments in which they are going to doubt themselves. So that's why it's so important that we think, what is self-esteem for me, for you? And the definitions can be different because the same as in yoga, one shape is not going to fit everybody. So one definition is, go is not going to fit everybody. But I always like to, when I'm talking about this topic, um, share that for me, yoga was the best way to connect with my self-esteem. Why? Because yoga helped me become my own best friend. Yes, <laughs> befriending my mind, my body. And this means that it's a journey of self-acceptance. It's not um, like only the icing of the cupcake saying that, yes, I'm perfect, I do everything great, I'm successful, I'm the best at teaching yoga, I'm the best at practicing yoga. No, it's way deeper than that. And it's a process about knowing who you are and accepting your lights, your shadows, and having your back as a friend. That's what I mean that yoga helped me become my own best friend. It taught me that I have my own back even on those days in which I'm having self-doubt, um, in which I don't feel confident in my body, um, in my career again. <laughs> yes. So I invite you to take a moment to think, what is self-esteem to you right now? And it's a concept that is going to be evolving. Sometimes it's self-esteem in our physical image, in our mind, the way we are doing things, but it's always, always evolving as us in life. And as I was mentioning, sometimes we get caught in comparing ourselves with others, comparing them, for example, at school with our, with our grades, comparing ourselves in yoga classes. Uh, wow, this shape doesn't look the same in me. And yes, that's part of human nature. <laughs> but again, we can't allow that to prevent us from living and feeling at home in our own skin, in our own mind, in our own body. Yes, yes, yes. So this um, work takes time. Sometimes it feels uphill, absolutely. Is it worth it? Yes, yes, yes. So the most important thing is to know that self-esteem comes from within. 
yes. It's not something that we can get from the outside world with the praises, with the awards, with the applauses. No, 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 no. It comes from within. It comes from knowing yourself, knowing your value. Yes, and being confident about this. No matter if the outside world is shaking, if you're living with a lot of stress, no. Your self-esteem, having your own back, can't be um, part of that earthquake. No, no, no. And that's why um, I invite you to do the following exercise with your paper, paper, <laughs> please, and your pen. And, ooh, and why paper? Um, studies show that when we write, our brain, our mind, our soul processes, processes things better. Yes. Instead of typing. Yes. So I, I have been resisting uh, journaling, writing, but yes, it works. So I invite you to grab your paper, grab your pen. I'm going to get mine. And I invite you to take a moment to write three things that make you unique, three things that you love about yourself, three things that you like about yourself. And if you can't think about any, I invite you to write things um, in which you're working towards accepting, accepting about yourself. Yes, yes, yes. So before we write, because I'm going to do it with you, I invite you to take a moment wherever you are, seated, standing even, Maybe you want to lay on your bed, lay on your couch. And with the eyes open or closed, I invite you to take a moment to notice how your mind, how your body are receiving this information. And if it helps you to better connect with your sensations, I invite you to bring the hands on top of your heart Taking a moment to find your heartbeat. And as you're feeling your heartbeat, I invite you to send yourself extra love, extra kindness and acceptance. And when you're ready, gently open the eyes and write three things, three. It can be more, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Three things that you love about yourself, that you like about yourself. Um, Three things that make you unique. Yes, yes, yes. So let's do it. Take your time. If I go too fast, you can always pause and then continue. <laughs> so three things. And by the way, as I'm writing, I'm thinking and reflecting more about this topic. When we have confidence, when we have um, self-esteem, a good self-esteem, <laughs> it's not something that will make you like full of yourself, like saying, yes, I'm the best. Uh, I'm not going to be listening to any, everybody, anybody. I know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's having that confidence that again, no matter what is happening in the outside world, you have your back. Yes. It's treating yourself as you could treat a friend. Sometimes we speak so bad, so mean about ourselves, but we wouldn't be saying that to our best friend. So that's the invitation to treat yourself as your own best friend. Yes. So let's continue writing. <laughs>
I got inspired. <laughs> so take your time to write these three things. And once you have them, I have mine, three. And as you can see, it can be words, one word, a, a phrase, whatever you like. I always say your body, your practice, your body, your paper, here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And when you're ready, I invite you to grab your paper, read it with kindness, with acceptance towards your mind, your body, and I invite you to paste it. Paste it somewhere you can see it. Maybe in your bathroom, maybe in your bedroom, but in a place that you can see it. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen people that like to take pictures of these reminders, these uh, statements toward yourself, and they have it as a background on their cell phone. That's another idea. But have it nearby so you can read it every single day and remind yourself, I'm good at this. I love my, um, my smile. I love how, how I am a, an amazing friend with others. I love that I have a lot of creativity, whatever you wrote. But those are kind words towards yourself that will help you grow your self-esteem no matter what. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this activity. You can update it anytime you want, but please read it and please incorporate it into your heart. Bring the palms together. <laughs> the light in me honors the light in you. And please don't forget to share your light with the world. A big hug and see you very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>